Hi, Taurus. Uh, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Taurus strongly in their chart or anyone who is curious about Taurus as well. All right, my friends. Let's go ahead and dig in here. Taurus, uh, it's very interesting this week. As you move into the beginning of the week, you're in the devil position. And um, when I get into this energy, I just feel like, Taurus, you're really able to step into a situation here that's really uncomfortable. Uh, Taurus, it's something that you're doing in life, something that you're focusing on, because it's going to help you to reach success. It's something that you're willing to focus on. You're willing to avoid all distractions, right, Taurus? And really put all of your efforts into this. It is the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus. It's something that you can do really well. And I think you're realizing and understanding, and, and I think that you're excited about the focus that you have and about the promise for tomorrow that this work brings to you. I do think for many of you, Taurus, this is something that you're working on something that you're focusing on that is able to bring you future improvements in life. And you're in the space of intensity. And I don't think you're afraid. I, I really don't think that you're afraid of this, Taurus. I think that you're very alive. I think you're intense. I think you're alive. I think that you could be quite shocking for people right now in whatever you're doing. Now, Taurus, I know that this is like a weekly reading, so it's it's probably not for many of you, not life-changing. It's something that's happening this week, um, or it's a project that you have, or something that you're involved in, and this is just a weekly snapshot of that. Now, you know, there has been there have been a lot of changes that you've been making, and these changes that you've been making have been really emotionally difficult. Um, I, I do feel though you're you're making these changes in the strangest of ways. Um, it's like you're you're making these changes and you're. It's almost like you're hurting people's feelings possibly. But because there's been so much pain around this, and because there's been so many wounds. Um, I really feel like there there is really an understanding about this. And I feel like when I'm connecting in here, Taurus, that you realize the potential that you have. You know exactly what you're doing. And you're making these changes and focusing in this area because really, Taurus, I really don't think you have a whole lot of choice. Here's the situation though i mean it is something that can really improve life something that really connects you in um to some sort of improvement that comes in with money with income some sort of commission that comes in some sort of you know improvement in daily life taurus and whatever you're having to do here you're doing you're just stepping into it. And I think, Taurus, it's hard. I mean, I think you're working hard. It's not only hard because of the focus that it's requiring. It's also hard because you're overcoming something that's been very hurtful. Like, there's a broken heartedness to this. In all of it, though, Taurus, we do have the Ace of Pentacles smack dab in the center of this week. So there is some sort of real improvement here that you're accessing with this work and this focus. This Ace of Pentacles sits over the top of the Three of Swords and over the top of the Ten of Wands. So there's a solution here, or there's something that's coming in here that you're connecting to that's helping you to pull away from the old wounds, the old situation, and this exp in this past experience that was like severely devastating, I have to say. Ten of Wands. The Three of Swords with the Ten of Wands. And you have something new that's coming in here that brings a promise of a new tomorrow because we have the Eight of Pentacles here and we have this intensity and this hard work. Um, I would, this, this trend continues through the whole week. We see you as you're moving through the second half of this week uh, in the Nine of Pentacles. So you have 
this independence now. You have some sort of some sort of a windfall coming in, Taurus. And and I know this is a weekly reading, so we have to, you know, scale that word back a little bit. But you have the independence, you have the uh, rewards here that you're connecting into. And I feel like it's, it's like freedom to you, Taurus. There's like a feeling of freedom, a feeling of, okay, this it's up to me now. It's up to me now. And it's up to what I create. It's up to the willingness and the ambitiousness that I have and the ability for me to stay strong in my goals and to do what I say that I'm going to do. Like it's up to me now. It's like there, this feeling of being controlled by someone else, it's not so strong anymore. Now you're like, okay, it's up to me now. I'm going to decide to move forward. And I, by the end of the week, there's something here that you're pretty excited about. You're focusing on, Taurus. Um, it's connected in with the King of Pentacles. So it's something that's going to help you in the long term. And I feel as you're moving out of this week that you are looking forward into the long term. You are looking forward to the future and you are looking forward into the long term as you work, as you use your energy, as you focus your attention on whatever this is, you're realizing that this is something that really does hold a vision for the future. And you are thinking in that kind of big way, at the end of this week, there's something here you're contemplating here with the Ten of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles. You have the Three of Pentacles here with the Nine, right? So there is something here that you're really expanding. Now, this could be something that you created yourself. This could be a new job that you've connected in with. This could be something, a new service that you're going to provide. It's something that's new in existence. It's, it's still in the process of being produced or the process of being replicated or in the process of being created but there's something there to work on and, and i do feel for many of you towards there is going to be a team there for many of you this is something that you're doing with other people but then again you have this independence that you've earned or some sort of income coming in from it and it does have a vision for the future and you are looking forward at the end of the week into the future and really doing some future envisioning i feel here i just feel like this king of pentacles is that is your way taurus is to work hard today for the promise of fun and adventure in the future it's a, you know the call of tomorrow the lure of tomorrow uh, the the promise of tomorrow is always strong in the heart a uh, heart of earth signs Let's go ahead and dig deeper into a few of these cards. I want to go into the Ace of Pentacles and see what we can find as we go into that energy. Ace of Pentacles now. Death energy. I felt this before. Like this is something that perhaps was given to you or it was bestowed upon you or you have accessed it because of a situation that was beyond your control and in many ways i feel like this situation you might not have chosen it torres you might not have in the beginning ever thought you would be in this kind of a situation it that's what the death energy does it like it it forces you to kind of surrender into something and then enjoy that which you've surrendered into um just like when we lose people that we love in in death you know, we, the universe kind of in, in more, in more ways than one, however, it does that in its special way, kind of forces us to continue to live and, and helps us to reconnect in with enjoyments after loss. So death is like something that we go through that we might not have necessarily asked for ourselves, but we're in a place now of understanding and recovery. And that's the kind of space that we have here, Taurus, connected to this Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. It's helping in the long run. I'm telling there's something that's really improving here for you, Taurus. Oh my gosh, it's so great. It's so wonderful. Temperance. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else here. It comes out for the sun. Eight of Swords. Overcoming some sort of inner rule, some sort sort of society standard overcoming your parents' ideas of what's proper and what's not proper. Eight of Swords, some sort, some sort of brain conditioning from early on, right? I mean, 
if truly, I mean, from my understanding, that's what the Eight of Swords is. It's like we fight against our own reg regulations. We we want to do it a certain way. We want to be a certain way. We, we want people to enjoy us. We want people to like us. We want people to want to be with us. And and we adapt our behavior to, to those desires with the Eight of Swords of lots of times. So there's something that you're doing here, Taurus, that might not be understood or um, your parents might not want you to do this or um, you're, you just might not be understood. Your motives might be confusing for people or something. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but there is an element here of, of judgment if you continue judgment from other people criticisms from other people losing support whatever it is like you there's fear here of some sort of reprisal or consequences and that's the element that you're pushing through uh because this requires you to be more free to more to be more creative it's a requirement of the expansion of the soul let's go into the three did i did i go into the three of pentacles already Let's go into the Three of Pentacles. If I did, I did. If I did, I did. Let's go into the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Two of Swords. Knight of Swords. lover's energy or for some of you there's a relationship here for some of you there's a relationship here a group of people that when they're together boy oh boy do they rock and roll right there's that sort of quality here but this is work that you're doing because of some hard lessons that you've learned in life it, it's like you, you this this has been your path but you may not have enjoyed so much of it or you might not have even been able to choose the path but there th along the way you've learned how to do things that are effective and efficient and they stand the 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 length of time the strength of time or something like that it's like that phrase coming through um now you could just be very strong and direct and blunt with this type of movement as you're moving forward into this, you may be very intimidating to the people around you. You may be very direct. You may really not allow for any kind of silly arguments or, you know, um, or like argumentative behavior. Like you're very direct. You know where you're going. You know what you're doing. You know what the fight is, and there's something here that you really are involved in that you're very passionate about. It's it's stuff. It's what you've learned through your walks in life, and this is all um, very heart connected. Like it's very connected in with the emotions, um, is how I feel. And if somebody is going to be questioning you, if you are going to be, um, because when you're in the ten of wands, that that is something Taurus that other people around you don't like. When we go through the Ten of Wands, we hurt first. And when we find freedom, it really does hurt the people around us because there is an overload onto one person. And when the, when something is overloaded onto one person, the other people in one way or another are benefiting from that. So Eight of Cups is the same way. When you, when you move through the Eight of Cups, you are taking the energy that you once spent in someone else's relationship or helping someone or on someone else's bandwagon or working for someone else or something it, you change and you move from one to the other and so when you pull away from people there usually is some sort of a response that's difficult and so with both of these the ten of wands where you are saying no now um, for the first time maybe saying no or pushing back when um, when, when there's, when there's tasks to do and with the eight of cups saying no to drama, no to distractions, no to helping people with their continual problems, right? Like no to those kind of things. And that does, you know, that people are, have hurt feelings when, when those kind of things happen. So, 
uh, what you've been doing has been really difficult. And I do believe um, that you have this energy of being just very direct, very clear, very, very forward with your intellect, with your with your communications, being very forward and true and honest and direct with your intentions, with your communications. Uh, I don't think, I think people, while they might have misunderstood you at one time, I think that they're very, you're being very clear about the direction that you're going, Taurus. You're very strongly guided to this, uh, where you're coming from is very uncomfortable and, and very not right for you. And where you're going is much more, um, is much more, in harmony with your soul and with your energy and with the path that you would like to create or that you are creating for yourself. So while other people here are finding this uncomfortable, Taurus, I think that for you, uh, it's a much better situation for you and you're willing to put the work in to do it. And I think that there are benefits already coming in. That's what it looks like, Taurus. There's already benefits coming in. So my friends, I am going to move to the extended now. Um, I feel like I'm at, kind of at the bottom of this now. We're going to move into the extended and pull a new spread. We'll also pull a spread for love. Um, and we're also going to pull cards for money. And we're go going to look deeper into the psyche. So we have a whole schedule um, for the extended. The extended usually takes between 30 and 40 minutes. Um, sometimes it's longer um, to get through all those things. But I'm getting pretty efficient at it. Um, all right, my friends, thank you all very much for being here. For those of you that are going back to YouTube, I want to thank you for being here for the reading and for being a viewer of this reading. I want to thank you for that. And for those of you that are moving over to the extended, I will see you over on the other side, my friends. All right. Thank you.